Um, I'm sure you probably um, feel like you know her already. Um, she's the author of what? Dovey Co. Um, actually, she's the author of uh, many uh, middle school age books. Um, one that I am familiar with is Chicken Boy. Um, she's going to be going to Mac Williams this afternoon to talk about Chicken Boy because they read Chicken Boy. Um, and she's going to uh, be with us this morning to talk about Dovey Co. Um, so we've already told her that you guys have not finished the book. So she's not going to ruin any of that for you. Um, and they have done a lot of studying with Dovey Co. Um, they've got placemats on their table. Um, they've um, done some things with the book. Um, they um, have, um, we've ordered copies of the book. You guys are going to get signed copies. Um, so without further ado, we are so so, oh my gosh, we are so excited to have you here. Oh, you are the here. first author that has ever visited our school. Really? Yes, yes, so this is just amazing for us. So, let's give a big round of applause and welcome <laughs> to the Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Not that far away, actually, just took me an hour and a half. I came from Durham. But I'm going to tell you, so what I'm going to do, first of all, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice. And everybody can see that? Yes. And, uh, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself, just because I think it's interesting to know when people come to talk to you, to know a little bit about them, and tell you how I became a writer and how um, W. Co. ended up being published. And this might be helpful for those of you who might want to be writers, authors. Are there any writers in here? Yay. Anybody else think you maybe want to be an author? Okay, after we, after we talk and you see how it's done, then maybe we'll see more of you. And then what I want to do after we, I finish kind of giving that overview, my guess is you have questions. Uh, and I promise not to give away the ending of the book. So um, I hope we will have plenty of time to talk. Me, and that is how I became a writer. And now let's talk about Dovey Co. Because I know you have questions and stuff you want to share with me. Yes. Like getting a, a, a marriage proposal that I rejected or, or having to turn someone away? No. No. Did you have to make the decision college or marriage? Oh, college or marriage. I'm sorry. I think it's a part. Um, no. You know, so when I was Caroline's age, I mean, it's different times, right? Um, it wasn't unusual that time for a girl. I mean, it was actually, it was unusual for a girl at that time to go to college, right? I mean, my grandmother did. And, and so, and she would have been... Um, Caroline's age, actually a little bit younger. So, so it's not that it didn't happen, but it was more unusual. What, by the time I went to college in 1982, that was you know a pretty normal course of action. 18 would have been much, uh, really young. I've known some 18-year-olds that got married, but now that seems really young. Doesn't that seem young to you to get married at 18? So no, I haven't. Um, and I'm glad because sometimes when you're 18, you make foolish decisions because you're in love. So watch out for that. <laughs> Don't be foolish when you're in love. Oh, that's impossible. Yes? Um, in the book, Dovey Co., um, uh -huh. we noticed that you only label like the chapter. Why didn't you give them a title? Oh, that's a good question. I'm keeping, I'm getting asked questions I've never been asked before. Why? Um, one, it's kind of hard to do. I'm trying to think if I have any books. I am working on a book right now that has chapter titles. And partly because it's different characters, it's like four different characters, so that's useful. It's actually a hard thing to do. If you think, I find giving a book a title hard. I find titles hard, so I think partly it's too hard. I will, I will say this, the, the students have come up with some excellent titles. Have you really? After every chapter we have to give it a title. And then we write the objective summary, and the titles have been spot on. They're oh, really can great. you send them to me? Yes, we will. I would love to know because yes, I will. have such a hard time with that. And I mean, I have a hard time titling books, and a lot of times I send the book, the title I come with, the marketing and publicity people, and Simon and Shusha are like, uh uh, that's a really bad title. So. <laughs> Bobby, open up to the page where she signed it. For Bobby, dream big. Love, Francis. Francis, a world devil. How nice.
Hi, I'm Marlo Artis and I'm here with Frances Work Dow. We just had a visit here at Safi Middle School and we're so fortunate that she came to speak with our sixth graders. So I wanted to ask her a couple of questions before she leaves us and goes over to Mac Williams. So first of all, how was your visit with the sixth graders? It was amazing. They were so prepared and engaged and really smart. Uh, you know, they just were. You can, there's a light wow. <laughs> in their eyes. It was very fun. I just, it's always so fun when the kids are really prepared and they, they are thinking. Oh, you know. Thank you so yeah. much. I also wanted to ask you, is writing still as gratifying today as it was when you first started? It is. Um, it's different because I know more about how to write. Mm -hmm. um, with each new book, I try to challenge myself in some way or another. And there, there are a lot of different facets to writing and to building a story. Um, and, and one, I'm trying to always improve my craft. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a very character centered writer so I, I'm still trying to figure out plot mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah so there's always um, uh, you know putting together a plot is like putting together a puzzle and I love that aspect of it and then trying to um, tell find new ways or interesting ways to me to tell a story so yeah it is it is that's good yeah what's your preferred method of writing electronic or pencil paper electronic uh, you know uh, sometimes I still write poetry and if I write poetry it's pen, it's pen very particular kind of pen <laughs> and paper, but I can't, I write very slowly, mm -hmm. uh, handwrite very slowly, mm -hmm. so I have to keep up with my own thoughts, I have to use my laptop. Okay. Yeah. And last question, what's your, what's next on the horizons for you? What's next? Well, um, I am working on a new book, which is set in northern Kentucky in the 1950s, uh, and it's actually, it's, it's, oh, there's a lot going on, there's a lot going on, but, um, so there's that. I've also started teaching creative writing workshops, and I'm excited because I'm going to do some workshops this summer, which are not just writing, but also creativity, trying to find different ways into storytelling, um, use, just because I like doing arts and crafts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and I'm really, but I'm excited about teaching and working with young writers who are very serious about writing, and I'm amazed. You know, just I've just started doing this, and the stuff, um, they come up with. It's just great. It's exciting for me as a teacher. As a teacher. As we're discussing, there's a real learning curve when you're beginning to teach. And uh, every time I teach, I have to revise and figure out how to do it right. But I find that a really interesting challenge as well. Thank you so much for your Thank time. Thank you. And thanks for a great visit. I've really enjoyed it. Thank you.